Operation Beleaguer is the code name for the United States Marine Corps occupation of northeastern China's Hebei and Shandong provinces from 1945 until 1949. The Marines are tasked with overseeing the repatriation of more than 600,000 Japanese and Koreans that remain in China at the end of World War II. During the four-year occupation, U.S. forces engage in several skirmishes with People's Liberation Army of the Chinese Communist Party while successfully evacuating thousands of foreign nationals. The U.S. government attempts to mediate a peace treaty between the opposing nationalist and communist factions but are unsuccessful. The Marines eventually depart northern China in June 1949, a few months before the communists win the Chinese Civil War and take control of mainland China. On 7 July 1946, the CCP issues a statement regarding their displeasure with the U.S. policy toward China, and shortly thereafter, communist troops launch two minor attacks against U.S. forces. The first skirmish occurs on 13 July, when the communists ambush and then capture seven Marines who are guarding a bridge about 15 miles from the Bai Day district. After some negotiations between both sides, the Marines are released unharmed on 24 July, but in return, the communists ask for an apology from the U.S. government for invading a liberated area. However, the U.S. instead responds with a strong protest. Five days later, a routine motor patrol made up from B Battery 11th Marine Regiment and a mortar squad from the 5th Marines consisting of one lieutenant and 40 enlisted Marines, is ambushed near the village of Anping. The ensuing battle lasts four hours. A relief column with air support from Tianjin attempts to trap and destroy the communists, but it fails to arrive in time. Three Marines, Lieutenant Douglas Cowan, Corporal Gilbert Tate, and Private First Class Larry Punch, are KIA, and 12 others are wounded during what is up to that point, the most serious clash between U.S. and Chinese forces. One Marine, PFC John Lopez, later succumbs to his wounds received in the battle, and two more are injured when they crash their jeep while returning to Tianjin for aid. As always, stay safe, stay salty devils, semper fi, and carry on.